I managed to fry the 5 volt regulator on this Mega 2560. If you want to know what causes that, it's when you short circuit an end stop without knowing it. And how you know you did that, the display connected to the ramps board becomes very, very dim. So I'm going to try to replace that. I have some replacement chips, uh, 5 volt regulators. It's the same part. I'm not going to try to take that off in one piece. I'm just going to clip the leads. Take it off. So this works other than that, but I can't use it with a ramps board like that. It doesn't want to work correctly. So Harbor Freight Hobby Vice. Okay, so I chucked it up in the Hobby Vice. Let me get a more comfortable angle. Actually, let's do this. So I've got a solder and a soldering iron. I'm not going to be soldering, but I want to tin this. First, you want to make sure it's hot, and then you want to tin the end. It helps with heat transfer. So, I've got these itty bitty little pliers. I just want to heat this enough to get that off of there. Now, working with surface mount chips, I got to tell you, it's always iffy. You know, I clipped those, but I think they broke off more than they clipped. I'm melting that solder. Hopefully making it look a little better. Okay, so the key to this is going to be to place the replacement on there. I'm going to have to put some solder on that front. We're going to save sequence I took it off. I'm going to solder it onto that. And that did lift that pad. And that's why you never try to save the part. It lifted the pad. That was bad. Now well, let's try this. It's not going to be very fun. I just want to cut one of these off. I think I got like 50 of these for $3 or some outrageously low price. So there's the part. Let's see if it is the same size. It appears to be. I'm going to drop a little bit more solder on that. Just a tiny, tiny bit. That's going to make it easier to get that to stick on there. Now, this is going to be difficult because that part is so small. Okay, I found my forceps. What am I going to do with that? Now there's a thing you can make to hold these surface mount parts in place. Uh, I think I'll be making one. Magnifying glass. Now let's try it. Okay, if I hear my computer beep that it sees it, that means I didn't do anything, didn't do any damage to it. Okay, so that's good. I didn't make it worse. Okay, so I think it's working. We'll have to try it with a ramp board. So what we'll do... Let's put that on. Let's see if it'll light this. There we go. So that's lighting that correctly with the right intensity. So it looks like this was successful. 
but until we put 12 volts on that, we won't know that. So I've got this supposedly 12 volt supply, 12 volts, five amps. So what we'll do is measure this to see if it really is 12. Always do this. That's sometimes there's 16. 12.2, that's pretty good. So let's plug this in. Now the way to tell if it's the regulator is working is pull this. It'll power off if the regulator doesn't work. So it restarted. That's good. It's all the different power supplies. So it doesn't do anything when I take it off. So five volts is going down to the Adreno. When I plug this in, it sees this five volts here. It sees the five volts here and restarts. It's good. So that fixed it. Excellent. Well, the ultimate thing is going to be, can I just plug this in and it work? Yeah. So this is good. This is working okay. So there you go. Quick and dirty and very ugly repair of the 5 volt regulator. Now, that was surface mount parts without really using surface mount techniques. But it worked. Um, I'll do another video where I actually do it right and post that but there you go fix that okay so i replaced two of these uh, and brought two of these back from the dead now i could have used them for other uses that didn't have to have 12 volt on them but now i now i can use them as ramps and i've already programmed them and they'll come up okay so if you like the videos please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching